what's up friends welcome back to drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to disable link devices on your whatsapp account and on top of that how to secure it on your mobile and give yourself that extra level of security so that only you alone can access your whatsapp account i know at times some of us using whatsapp on our computers and we might log into the whatsapp app or even through the web browser and we might forget and if someone goes there and use your computer they might be able to access your whatsapp and see your message and on top of that on our phones if we leave our phones unlocked or someone might know our password they can easily access our whatsapp and that's why in today's video it's very important to follow these steps to secure your whatsapp account and if you'll find this useful go ahead give this video a like let me know in the comments below if you appreciate it and also if you've seen the channel for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button now let's jump in Go ahead and open up your WhatsApp account. Click the three dots on the upper right hand side, then click on link devices. From here, you'll find all your link devices. And as I said, you might at times you might use it on a different phone or even on your computer. And as you can see here, right here, I have Windows. So if I want to remove that, I simple tap on it and I can simple tap on log out. And it will remove those devices and all those devices. So that's how you go about doing that. Now, how do you go about adding that extra level of security? Simple click the three dots on the upper right hand side, click on settings, tap on privacy, scroll all the way down to where you see fingerprint lock, tap on that and you can turn this on and use your fingerprint so that you can log it. You want to set this to immediately so that once you close your phone or close your Facebook or close the WhatsApp application, it, uh, it triggers you to you enter your fingerprint in order to access the phone. Now, the next thing that you want to do, just simply go all the way back to accounts and you can simply and turn on two-factor verification here. Once you tap turn on, it will ask you to enter a six-digit PIN. You can simply set that and you also can set an email address so that in case you forget it, you can reset it. And that's all there is to it, guys. Very easy and very simple. 